Hello and welcome to the uh, advanced Photoshop tutorial that I'm doing for uh, griefforglory.com. So today we're going to go over how to uh, paint your lines. We're going to go over masks, clipping layers, and yeah, basically just how to paint really fast uh, and only have and not to delete information. Okay. So we're going to use some very technical stuff in Photoshop, but it's pretty simple to use once you understand it. But you should already know how to use uh, selections very well, and you should know how to use layers very well. Uh, but I'm sure most of you guys already done a lot of digital painting. So this here is a sketch that I did uh, with my tablet at a coffee shop, just looking at some of the people sitting around. And so I saw this Asian girl, and I did the sketch. And yeah, it looks like ink, but it's actually a digital drawing. What I did is I used a special brush that uh, I made it's a little bit wider than it is tall and so it gives me that nice ink look and I dropped in a paper texture on the background but let's say for instance you scan in a drawing and it has this like horrible paper texture in the background right because what I want to do is I want to color this in but I want my lines to be on top of my color right so I'm sure you guys are all familiar with uh, multiply if not then you just uh, as you can see my layers here I've already duplicated my background layer and then what I'm going to do is I want this to be on top and I'm going to go ahead and turn everything else off except that layer and I'm going to go to my image just levels sort of like brightness contrast I'm just going to crank up the white so I can get rid of that background and you see how I, still ha I have all this white what I can do is I can control click no actually I need to if I go to my channels and I control click on the RGB it will select all of the black. It might have, I'm not sure if it selects all the black or all the white. But basically now what I can do is I can hit delete. And you see what it did? It just deleted all of my white. Okay. And now if I want that to be a little bit darker, which I don't, I could just duplicate the layer or I could have messed with the levels. Okay, so now I have this empty drawing layer. Uh, I like doing, some, uh, there's two ways, basically you can change this to multiply, or actually you don't need multiply if you're going to delete out the, the white. Okay, so now I have my paint layer, which I'm going to paint on here, and what I want to show you guys is how to use a clipping layer. So let's say you, you go in and you paint, right, so this is my base color, which I've already done, and you paint inside the lines, and it's kind of tedious, and it takes you a little while, but you get everything inside those lines, right? and now you want to paint but you want to stay in those lines and you don't want to have to but let's say for instance you want to paint with like a huge brush got my brush paint on this layer turn that visible and I'm talking like really big brush right so I'm just going to block in the shadows and lights real quick but I don't want to try to stay inside the lines so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the alt key on the keyboard so just hold alt and then click in between your paint layer and the outline layer see that so I click in there and that lets me paint on this layer so for instance let's say I want to grab my shadows uh, I want to use this darker peach color and boom I'm gonna start blocking those colors let's make it a little darker so I can see it And of course, I'm going to knock down the percentage opacity. And then I'm going to add in uh, black. Or just, that's okay, I'll just darken in the hair. You see that? I don't have to try to stay inside the lines. It automatically does it for me. I can go a little smaller for detail. And I'm going to darken those lips. Of course, upper lip should be a little darker since it has a shadow falling on it. But we'll get to that later. Okay, so that's clipping layer. And it's pretty nice. You can also use this to uh, paint your lines. So for instance, I have this layer here, right? And I want I don't want let's say I don't want those lines to be black. Let's say I want them to be like a dark red or brown. See that? So especially for her skin outline. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just create a new layer. I'm gonna clip it to that. Uh, line layer 
and then boom, I'm just going to start painting. Actually, let me see if it's working or not. I'm just going to do the skin. Oh, I need to do 100%. See that? Those black lines are now turning brown. And the cool thing about this, too, is that I have two editable layers. If I come over here, Uh, let me unclip them and you'll start to see. So this is what my paint looks like. I'm using custom brush, that's why it looks a little funny. And then what I'm doing is I'm making it only show up where this layer has pixels. See how that works? It's very convenient. And you can get those nice colored uh, outlines for your artwork. So I'll go ahead and color this in. Oops. Make sure you're on the right layer. And the way masks work is have you ever uh, you ever like say let's say you want to erase some of these lines right let's say I want to clean really clean this up really nicely so of course a lot most people are just gonna take the eraser and erase those lines right but let's say later on I wish I hadn't erased that like way later on but since I've already erased it it's gone right instead what you can do is you can make a mask or a clipping layer they work pretty much the same and if I'm going to use that, then what I can do is I can, I'm not really deleting anything. I'm not really using an eraser. What a mask does, let's say for instance, I'm going to grab this layer, and I'm going to put a selection around it. So I only want what's inside this box to show up. Of course, I could just inverse that selection and then just delete everything else, right? But let's say later on I want that back. It was too late, I've already deleted it. Instead, what I can do is I can take that square, click on the mask layer, I'm going to invert that mask real quick. Just hit Control I. You see that? Everything outside that square disappeared. And if I want to get it back, I can paint it back. So basically, on this layer, this is your mask. It only has black and white. White is visible, black is invisible. So if I want to make it visible, so for instance, let's say I want these hairs to show up over here, I can paint white. It's okay, I'll do that. I'm just going to paint white, and you see that? My hair comes back. Very nice. So I'm not really deleting anything. I'm just not showing everything. And again, if I want to make it disappear, instead of erasing, what I can do is I can select my mask, and then choose black, and just paint black, and that will make it disappear. And then again, I can paint white, and it will reappear. So that way, you never have to delete anything from your drawing. You can always keep the original drawing. Okay? And I also use masks all the time when I'm doing like web designs or layouts because, you know, you have these textures or let's say you have effects and stuff, and you only want them to show up within the square. Right? So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just take that layer, make a square, and then mask it off. You can also make like really elaborate paths and then mask off path, which is basically how this works. Okay? And again, remember, if you control click any layer, that will give you a selection of all the pigments, of all the pixels in that layer. And of course, remember to keep your lights and your shadows on different layers so that you can manipulate them separately later on. And let's say, for instance, I have all of my paint in one folder. So let's say this is my paint folder, and it has my lights and shadows and just everything in there. Reclip that. Okay, I think things are getting messed up here. Let me grab both of these at the same time. So I have this paint folder, right? But let's say I want to put a square, I want to cut everything off within a square on everything that's in that folder. Instead of like making my square and then going and deleting each one of these layers, what I can do is I can just add a mask to the entire group. See that? And again, I can readjust that square any way that I want to. I'm just going to fill the white. Select your mask and then just fill it. So to get the shortcut key for fill, I just alt delete 
or control delete for the background color. And there you have it. So uh, this is a little bit advanced, so if you couldn't follow or if it's a little bit too fast, then um, just email me at uh, Sean D. McMillan, uh, or just go to my website, griefforglory.com, and then email me, and I can help you out, or maybe make a shorter video. Just let me know. And that's basically, uh, with that, those three or four tools that I just taught you, you can do a lot more editing with a lot less deleting, a lot less erasing, and a lot less wishing you had you could go back and re bring back stuff in that you had deleted already. Okay? So that's it. Everybody have fun and keep painting.